if you would start that. All right, we are recording tonight. Are you guys excited or what about this Zoom? I can tell you that I am so pumped about this Zoom. We are gonna go right into call to action tonight. We are gonna be giving you guys so many incredible nuggets. I know we may kind of weave our story into our tips, but this really isn't about our story. This is about giving you guys tips to help you succeed from where you are now to Diamond. And I really wanted to start off this Zoom tonight with just a really strong, I don't know if you call it just a standpoint, focus point on where you can be at Diamond. And Diamond is a pivotal position in our comp plan. Mark says it's a license to print money. Why? Because at Diamond, you earn an extra 2 percent on all of your diamond on all of your volume when you promote to diamond it increases your paycheck but it also helps build leadership in your organization leadership that can help take you to ambassador diamond leadership that will help you go to the next level but leadership that will essentially could be with you for a lifetime in this company and really just help you build some of the strongest skills that you need to go to the next level in your life and so i really want you guys to utilize this chat to really talk talk to us tonight so we can deliver to you what you need as well um, in addition to the tips that we have come here as a group to provide for you and so uh, my mom actually asked a really incredible question on our uh, a triple diamond and above page called lifers recently it was in this last month and that was you know about a lot of times this season we notice as leaders that some of you are, are like waiting we're not sure what you're waiting for okay we're not quite sure are you waiting for a bonus or you're waiting for it works to come out with something new are you waiting for the season to go away well i know out of 11 years of experience of being with this company and growing up in the world of direct sales my mom has been in multi-level marketing since i was six years old okay i'm 32. so most of my life my mom has been in this industry prior to that she was a stay-at-home mom so i didn't know her working i knew her home with me and then i knew her in mlm um, for for most all of my life and so what i know about this season that we're in right now is this is seed planting season this is not the time to sit back and relax and enjoy the holidays and sip on your mold wine this is the time to be drinking your collagen drinking your reds drinking your hydrate showing the world what you've got because people are in the spending mindset people are out and about they're networking with their community they're at holiday bazaars and markets and holiday parties and uh, school performances i know i'm looking forward to my two boys performing in their holiday event this year and so all of those things you're going to be more surrounded by people than you are all year okay moms families people looking to spend money wanting to upgrade their life they're thinking about how much debt they're going to go in over christmas this year and you could be the person that really steps in to change the course of their future forever not only that they start thinking about their bodies they start thinking about how they want to change that body going into the new year. They start thinking about how their finances are going to look different in 2020. This is not the time to sit back and wait for someone to join your organization. Now is the time to be recruiting. And so we're going to give you a lot of tips on that tonight. So my mom had asked this question on our lifers page on, you know, when people promoted from either emerald to diamond or diamond to double right around that time frame, how much did their check increase? And I'm going to give you all a really good example of who, what some of our top leaders have said. Okay. Samantha Keeneland, for example, she said, I went from emerald to double. I skipped diamond. My check went up $11,000, $11,000. Wow. Diamond to double um, was a two, uh, this was just, these are all different leaders. I didn't put everybody's name. Diamond to double was $2,000 raise, uh, raise. Double to triple was a $6,500 raise. Emerald to double was a $2,000 raise. Diamond to double up three grand. Double to triple up three grand. Um, all of these without any bonuses. Uh, Stacy said ruby to diamond 1595 uh, more she skipped emerald a lot of you are in that kind of same position you might be i know i know some ruby snuck on this zoom tonight i know it 
I know it because I know you and you are a leader and you're showing up. And so you're charted for diamond and that's why you're here. Um, Ruby to diamond, 1500 more. She skipped emerald diamond to double 4,500 more. Emerald to diamond went up 500 without any bonuses. Uh, Lori Conway said diamond to double $4,000 jump. Tannis said diamond to double $5,000 jump. Cheyenne Knox said diamond to double $2,500 jump. Emerald to diamond $2,200 jump. Emerald to diamond $1,500. Diamond to double $2,500. Sarah Artisan said emerald to diamond $1,600 jump. Diamond to double $3,600 jump. Katie Harold said no bonuses, just residual. Diamond to double. Um, a $958 jump, double to triple, $2,700 jump. So why am I reading diamond to double and diamond to triple? Why am I reading beyond diamond? Because that's where you're gonna go. Because basically it's the same two legs that are gonna take you to double once you get to diamond. And so you're gonna build on that momentum going into the new year and you guys, you have set yourself up for tremendous success. And so this is the Zoom where you can right now ask yourself, what do I really, really, really want? What do I really want this, this year to end? This is the end of a decade. This is just an end. This isn't like the end of another year, you guys. This is a decade. You're entering a new decade in your life. This is a pivotal time for you to be finishing your, this year stronger than ever. So really ask yourself, what do I really, really, really want? And we're going to take these tips. Yeah, I can put it in the chat. We're going to take these tips tonight and we are going to take massive action. And so I'm going to lead right into our tips tonight. I'm going to bring up Amanda. Amanda's going to share for about eight minutes. I'm going to set my timer so we stay on track tonight with some amazing tips on promoting in this season. So Amanda, without further ado, I'm going to mute myself. All right. Hi, guys. I'm so excited to give you guys some tips. And as I was writing these, I just kept focusing, like, like trying to think, okay, every time I promoted, what did I do? What made that month my month of promoting? And so I wanted just to go over some really um, key things that I did. And I did it every single time, you guys. And sometimes it might look like it was more, sometimes, you know, not so much, depending on what, what rank it was or where I was at. Or, um, but I will tell you, your level of commitment on you pushing to your diamond rank, your level of commitment directly affects how hard this process will become for you. So if you are fully in and you are so committed, your process, it's already done. Like it's already happening. It's already going to be done it's because your level of commitment is already there. It's already done. Um, your commitment will decide whether you make it or not. And sometimes we can say, oh, I'm committed. I'm 100% committed. But then what happens, what happens is our kid gets sick or something happens where, you know, life gets in the way or doubt starts to, you know, seep, um, seep in or, you know, certain things get, you know, put in the way and trying to block you. And so your commitment will decide whether you are going to make it or not, whether you're going to push for that diamond or not, um, whether you're going to get that diamond or not. Um, you already lost unless you commit. Okay. So you guys who are on this, we specifically put emeralds and I know some, like Kay said, some of those uh, rubies seeped in here, but, and I'm so excited for you guys. Um, but I know like you guys are committed. You guys decided at the end of the month that you are committed. Um, oh, let me mute. Sorry. I get super sidetracked. Um, and so, so you um, so you guys just, you guys keep going with that commitment. Um, your actions will produce results. So I wanted to talk to you guys and I have them like bulletproof of what exactly I did. And I started with mindset because mindset, you guys is so key in any, in, in this business, 80% of this business, I would probably argue even more mindset of this business. And then that 20% work. Okay. But your mindset is so key. And so some tips that I did was wake up at least an hour before your kids wake up. Like that should be a non-negotiable right now during this time of pushing. And we, we wanted to do, um, sorry guys, if you guys can just keep yourself muted. Um, 
we really wanted to, you know, like we said, do this Zoom for you guys who are pushing for Diamond because we don't want to wait. This is a push month because we know like, you know, when you are pushing these months, every time I would, you know, push really hard in October, November, December, I always like, you know, when our boom season comes, like you just kind of slide in and just kind of guide into those, um, you know, to the, to that season. And so wake up before an hour with, or before your kids, at least an hour, you guys self-development, um, should be playing all day long. So when you're getting ready, like right before this Zoom, I came in here about 20 minutes earlier, my kids are, you know, getting ready for bed and I was listening to a podcast. Um, when you're driving, you guys, self-development should be something that is always playing on. So in the morning, when you're getting ready, when you're driving, when you're, you know, anytime you're working, when you're doing a power hour and you're just getting some work done, when you're cleaning the kitchen or you're doing dishes or, you know, whatever, self-development is always playing on in our house. Um, journal. This is, was really key, especially when I was promoting and I do it. I still do it every single day. Sometimes my journal is differently, but the months promoting the month that I'm promoting every single day, you guys, I will write how my promotion already happened. Okay. So, um, I did it. Like I just got to diamond. I'm so excited. Like the tears keep rolling down my face. Now this is going to pay for X, Y, and Z. This, you know, is just this is just a breakthrough for our entire family. Like write your promotion as it already has happened every single day. When you wake up, if you feel the need to do it before you go to bed, whatever it is, like you have to write it down. Already know that it's happening and already believe that it's happening. Um, your mindset is so key in this. And then the other thing is just praying over your team, um, over your customers that are coming in, your new customers, your new distributors, everything before you go to bed, when you wake up. Um, have a very clear talk with your family. So your kiddos, your spouse should all know, okay, mommy or daddy's pushing this month. We are getting this rank. Like this is what it's going to do for us. So mommy is going to be on my phone a little bit more. Mommy's going to be away a little bit more. Mommy's going to be working a little bit more, but this is what it's going to do for us. You know, include your family in this so that you don't have them like while you are pushing for this huge, amazing promotion, you don't have any, you know, any pull from that so that everyone is coming with you and everyone is doing that with you. And so when your kiddos say, Hey mommy, can you do this with me? And you say, okay, but I have to do this first. You know, this is what is the focus for your guys' family right now, because can you imagine what that extra, you know, $2,000 is going to do for you and your family What those extra, you know, incentives are going to do for your family or those cabs that you are going to get. Like you guys, this is an incredible, huge promotion. So have your family be, you know, included with you on the weekends, you guys, like it, it should be waking up early, you know, working, getting your work done. Um, maybe on the weekends, it's going to be you working. You know, maybe it's instead of you going to that soccer game, it's going to be you working. I will guarantee you that small, tiny investment that you are making into your business, it is going to be a huge investment in the long run. And so I guarantee your kids are going to be so proud of you and they're not going to even notice that you missed that soccer game because you guys just did made a huge goal that you guys accomplished. Um, let's see. So for me, when I was promoting, I try to think like how my attitude was and it was that it was going to get done no matter what. So if I had a certain goal to message a certain amount of people every single day, I was going to stay up till one, two, three o'clock in the morning until I got that goal done, depending on how my day was, because I knew that it's the actions that is going to lead me to the results that I'm wanting. Um, Let's see, I wanted to share with you guys. So when I was a double, I remember a friend of mine was promoting to presidential. And I remember she was saying, oh my gosh, I've been in my PJs for three days. She was like, my cat was hungry. I didn't, or my dog was hungry. I didn't have any like food. So I gave him um, black beans. Like she was like, I haven't gone to the grocery store. I haven't brushed my teeth. And I remember thinking like that girl has grit. Like that girl is pushing for something that is going to change her life. I was like, I can't wait. Like I'm excited. Like I want to do that. That for my next promotion because I want to show my team like this grit that like I am going to do whatever it takes to do whatever it takes to get this done and when she got it done she was like I don't even care that like I'm dirty and I'm smelly you know she just got a huge promotion you know and so think like it's okay if you haven't showered for a little bit it's okay like be so focused laser focus on this because it is already done you've already committed okay um Here's a couple of tips, short contests, you guys, I have learned that short contests are key. 
So 24 hour content contest, 48 hour contest. So I love doing a flash 15 contest. Hopefully you guys can have a pen and paper flash 15 contest. So that, so example, the first 15 people in this group, um, who get 60 BB or higher is immediately going to get, you know, a flash prize from me, an awesome prize from me. Um, you could do that. That, that gets my team like riled up, um, two day, like host to post. So in the next, um, two days, whoever gets, um, the hot, the most amount of host to post is going to get a $10, you know, $10 from me. The key is, is you have to have 10, you have to have a minimum of 20 hosts of posts. Okay. So my thing, and if you are on my team, you guys hear me say every single day, there should be a no, there should be no less than getting 10 hosts of posts out every single day. When you are promoting, when you are promoting, you want at least 10 hosts to post. So do a con every single day. So when you are promoting you guys, um, or when you are, have your team and say, okay, you guys, the next 40 or the next two days, whoever gets the most post to post has to be a minimum of 20 because it's two days is going to get $10. You guys that like, I want to win $10. I'm competitive, you know, so get your team doing these small little, um, short contests and know your volume daily. I think some other people are going to go into some more detail, know your volume daily, know what declines. I made a little list to show you guys what I do. So I will put everybody who I need to be at a 400 box. Okay. Everybody's volume. And I put their name and then I put how much they have currently. And then I put how much they need. Okay. And so every single day I'm seeing, okay, this person got a decline. Okay. I'm going to erase that. And now this is what they need. Okay. Awesome. This person just got a hundred BB order. Okay. I'm going to change that every day. This little list that you just did should be updated every single day so that you know, and your team knows exactly, you know, where you're at, how much volume you need exactly, you know, where to go. Um, chat with your key players. Okay. You're going to tell me when my time's up. Okay. Chat with your, your, key. your time is up. Oh, okay. Okay. I want to interrupt you right away. Okay. Can I say one more thing? One more thing. Yep. Okay. So chat with your key players. You guys put all of your rubies and all of your, you know, your, your key players in a chat, your emeralds in a, in a chat and chat with them daily, do encouraging things. And so when somebody gets a loyal customer, you know, shout that out. Hey, I just got a 30 BB. So then you can go and update your list. And then when you get customers or distributors, send them your screenshots of exactly how you got it so they can go and duplicate that. So, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be done. <laughs> awesome. We, and you will, we may have time at the end. We just want to get through okay. everyone. It was so incredible. Perfect. Ashley, you're up. Hey guys. Okay. So I've been in the business since 2014 and I went back and pulled some numbers too. So I started in February of 2014. Um, literally conference had been over for like three days. So I came in in the boom season and I went from distributor to Ruby my first month, skipped Emerald, went diamond, and then went double diamond the next month, triple diamond the following month. So I went from, I, I, I did the difference. So from my very first paycheck to my fourth paycheck in the business, I got an $11,046.15 raise. So I want you guys to see, like, no matter where you're at today, like, where you could be in four months. And this time, if you're setting yourself up appropriately at this this time and you're pushing as hard as you can at this time imagine where you could be by that may paycheck i mean you could be an ambassador like you just don't know but it's so crucial to not like let any of this time slip away from you but my husband and my 2.0 account we both promoted those accounts um this time of year, my husband doesn't work the business, so I promoted. Um, and he went in uh, October, he had a $300 paycheck um, in 2014, and by December it was $1,200. And then same with my 2.0, 400 to 1200. So you guys like this time of year, you can, you have to, you have, first off, you have to believe that it can happen, but you have to go into the mindset, like Amanda said, that there's like no other option. And I get so frustrated hearing people say like, I'm going to try to go diamond this month. Well, you've already sold yourself short. You've already told yourself like, it's okay if you don't because, and so that, that's your mindset right there, that it's okay if I fail and it's not failing. You've got to push as hard as you can with the mindset that it's happening no matter what. 
And you know what? If you, if you fall short, you gave it your all and you're going to slam past it and probably double promote the next month. So, um, it's belief, but it's claiming it. And that's one of the biggest things I feel like I did when I came in this business, I was told by my best friend immediately that I was going to fail. And that night within 24 hours of starting the business, um, and it took me 36 months to say yes to this business. I said that I was going diamond in 90 days and I had no idea what that meant, but I claimed it. And then I decided there's no other option. Like that's what I'm doing. I'm going to prove myself that to, the, to prove to myself I can do this when I prove other people wrong. But then you just got to get to work and work for it. You guys, I worked 60 hours a week night shift as a nurse all the way through presidential diamond. So, um, well, I work 36. Oh shoot. Did y'all lose me? Am I here? Okay, sorry. I'm on Amy Spence's account because she's on my account. Um, and it said it signed me out. But you, um, you, you have to just hustle in. A lot of you probably still work full time. And so, you know, you can hear from us that we're doing all these crazy hours. But for me, working night shift, I was working while other people were sleeping. And so it was a whole different ball game for me. So it was sitting in the parking lot 15 minutes before I went into work. It was you know, spending my entire lunch hour. It was hiding in the bathroom. I mean, my people, my coworkers probably thought I had IBS because I was in the bathroom all the time sending messages. Um, it was sitting in the parking lot when I got off work at 7 a.m., sending another 15 minutes of messaging, driving home 45 minutes, sending another 15 minutes of messaging before I went to bed. And so it, you've got to fit it into the nooks and crannies. And if I can go from distributor to triple diamond in four months working 60 hours a week night shift, so can you. Um, but projected volume is huge. And Amanda touched a little bit on that, but it's going into your tree viewer chart. If I didn't have a chart, like I wouldn't have been able, like I, you've got to be charting. You have to be charting people and don't, um, you know, you can be a, I'm a micromanager when it comes to charts. I want everybody's charts. I'm going to teach you how to do your charts, but I want control of that because at the end of the day, it's my promotion. You may be promoting with me, but nobody else cares about your promotion as much as you do. So you need to have control of every aspect of that. So um, it was a chart. And like Amanda said, I would put how much volume they currently had. And then I would put how much they were missing. And you go through Trivier customer by customer by customer and you add it all up at the beginning of the month if you if it's the 17th now and you haven't done that yet do it tonight before you go to bed figure out your roadmap and your game plan of what you need and if it's promoting in december to diamond or double or whatever it may be emerald you've got to do that on the first of the month like you have to have a roadmap that way every time somebody signs you can tell them okay this needs to go here this needs to go here so you've got to have that um searching facebook messenger is a really awesome tool you guys I wish Instagram would get on board with this but you can go in Facebook Messenger and you can type in keywords that you say a lot so maybe it's um, $99 because you've talked about the kit be $99 or $49 go through and search that in Facebook Messenger and it's gonna pop up all these people that you've talked to in the past search HSN or hair skin and nails whatever you call it you have got to follow up with people I feel like that is where the ball is dropped the most in this business and I've had people in my six years that I've talked to and talked to and talked to about the business and then all of a sudden I see them announce themselves as like selling and I'm like oh my god I didn't follow up with them so this is the time like get hardcore on your follow-ups and you've just got to believe that you can do it that that's what it boils down to is the belief if you don't know where you're going next you're already there and so one thing that i remember pam saying well i remember mark when i first started about the dream boards and i was like dude i can't even dream because we're so so far in debt, like I don't even know how to dream. I need to make a survival board. So maybe you're you're at that point where you're like, I, I just desperately need two thousand dollars, like extra five hundred dollars and extra thousand dollars a month. It's not extra for me. I desperately need it. So what don't you want in your life anymore? For me, it was, I didn't want to miss any more Christmases being mandated to work at the hospital. I didn't want to miss friends' weddings. I didn't want to miss kiss, kissing my babies 
good night. I didn't want to miss t-ball games. So get serious with your why. Like it may not be that you're dreaming for a new car or a pool or a vacation to Aruba. Maybe you're just trying to get out of debt. Figure out what it is. Write those debts down on a piece of paper. We, we took a huge mirror and painted it into a chalkboard and wrote out every debt we had because that allowed one, my husband to see, my kids were only two and a newborn, so they didn't really get it, but that allowed my husband to see, like, whenever we were supposed to be watching TV, and I'm, like, over in the corner on my phone, like, I'm doing this for our family, like, I'm doing this to change, you know, the trajectory of our family, so get serious with that, and figure out what you don't want in your life anymore, if you're not at the point where you can dream of, like, this crazy big life yet, so that's what I got. Amazing. Thank you so much. Y'all, I had to move to my dining table because I had sugar ants all over my desk. I don't know why. I don't know. Okay, so one more, thing. Yes, one more thing I was going to say, Amy Spence and I do a 6 a.m. power hour every single morning, Monday through Friday, and that has completely changed my business over the last two years. And I'm going to drop the link uh, or the uh, ID number into the chat. Y'all are all welcome on it. Share it with your teams. We do it. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so it is my turn. All right, y'all. So I'm super excited to share with you. And, and we're, we're talking way, we're, I'm going to go way back in history here because like I said, I have 11 years of experience with It Works. And so I, in, my first, in, in my first year, I promoted to Double Diamond, okay? So I was a college student. I was 21 years old in college. And I was in full, full on university. I had, this was my final year. So it was my senior year of college when I finally decided to join It Works. And I had a goal. My goal by month, uh, by year end was to be making $10,000 a month. I originally joined for 500, but I noticed that in a few months I was making that. And so my goals started to increase. And I remember that goal of a thousand dollars increasing. And then I remember being an emerald and saying, okay, I know I can walk in this diamond. And so for me, one of my biggest tips for you and just the, in the focus of your promotion is just making the decision. Every time I, oops, that was Ashley's um, timer. Every time I have promoted in this business, it's literally just been because I've made the decision. You know, at the end of the day, that's, that's the key ticket. And I promoted to ambassador in November, so I'll get there too. But what I want to share with you is that in that first year, getting that promoting from Emerald to Diamond was literally a decision that I made. And I remember that, that jump in my check. And I remember making that first $2,000 paycheck. And then as a diamond, right before I promoted to double, I was at 5,000 a month. And by the time I graduated college as 20, uh, 22 years old, I was making $10,000 a month with it works. And that was just a tremendous jump for me. So I was able to graduate college with this full time in my life. And that was huge. I mean, you're talking 2000, 10, 2009, 2010. I mean, people, people didn't graduate college making $10,000 a month. And my, my focus was so laser focused. So when other people were out partying with their friends, just like in our world today, when people are socializing too much, when they're not making the right choices towards their goal, I was making the right decision. So I was staying up late at night working in Starbucks at the library, even after it was all closed down until one or two o'clock in the morning, because I had a lot of California teams. So I was able to work the time zones and I was able to send messages. I didn't care if people didn't respond right away. I knew that those messages would come in in the morning. And it was just a decision because I saw the end result. And so I want you, as Amanda had talked about visual, visualization tonight, is really talk, think about who is that person that is a diamond? You know, what are you able to do as a diamond? What are you able to, um, what bills are you able to pay? What is, how does that, lighten the load a little bit for your family. And for me, it was just, you know, I didn't have a, a partner back then or a boyfriend to, you know, I didn't have all that. So, but now as a, a mom working my 2.0 business, which is diamond and, 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 and focusing on 
building my network out, you know, now as a mom with two young boys, it really comes down to communication. And if you go back to last, last week or the week before that, my mom and I did a podcast just on building in this season and how important it is to communicate. Amanda talked about that. I'm so glad that she hit on that because you've got to communicate with your partner, with your, even your family, even your friends on, Hey, I might not be at all the things this year because I'm going to be working pop-ups or I'm going to be in the homes doing parties. You might have to make those decisions because it matters that much. You know, it matters to the future of your, of your business, what decisions you're making right here right now. And so that's why we're up late at night doing these Zooms because it matters. And so what I wrote down um, is uh, Ashley talked about charts. I had just had a girl last month personally enrolled Promote Diamond and this chart stayed with me all month long. These are my, this is my folder of charts. These stay with me everywhere I go. I have a big old purse and they go right in there. And these are the charts. So all month long, I'm tracking volume, always writing in pencil, starting the month off with where we're at from the month before, being able to project that volume as we talked about in Tree Viewer and mark it off as I go. And so then it comes down to, you know, you ha the, the, the biggest thing that I see that people make the mistake of is you don't communicate with your team that you're promoting. Some of you are so afraid to tell your team that you're promoting to Diamond because you think it's selfish. And that's the problem. It's not selfish. They, you want them promoting Diamond, don't you? You want them promoting Emerald and Ruby and all the things. So you've got to communicate with your team that you're promoting. That is a big stinking deal. And so they can support you. Even if they're not a part of their promotion, they can support you. They can be a part of that volume. They can be a part of the energy. They can be a part of the celebration. And then when it's done, you've showed them something. You showed them what the late out night hours were, you felt like. You showed them what the, uh, the decisions that you made, the communication and how that all wrapped up into that promotion. And so that matters so much that you are, you know, uh, communicating that with your team. So I wrote that down as a big ticket item. Um, so as far as strategy, before all my time is up, I want to talk to you about even what I'm doing right now. You know, when you, when you look at the calendar, it's the 17th of the month, but it's Sunday, you guys. I want to I want to know from you what you're willing to commit to this week to launch your business. For me, I'm getting on a flight Wednesday. I'm flying to Virginia to do a try it Thursday night, and so I've been messaging friends of mine who own local salons and local boutiques to let me come in and pop up on Friday because that's the day that I can come pop it in on Friday. And also Thursday early afternoon before the try it. I get there late Wednesday. I am not taking any time to just sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I will be able to see my family, yes, because I'm from Virginia, but you better believe that I'm going to be popping up while I'm there and doing all that I can to bring in volume. That's exactly the attitude you have to have right now. And I, this isn't even a pro big promotion month for me yet. So this is a promotion month for you. So this is a decision that you have to make. Okay. And so what does that mean? You're, how many host to posts are you willing to get out every single day? How many um, pop-ups are you willing to have this week? And not only you, your team, I would be messaging for pop-ups in November. I would be messaging for pop-ups in December. I would be filling up your calendar. Alyssa and I were talking about this in um, Boston. Your calendar is a direct reflection of your business. And I, you know, when I look at people who, you know, when we have been, we have had our fastest promotions in our company or our team, it's because people are also out and online, you know, in the field, doing the pop-ups, doing the in-home parties. So my, 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 I guess, strategy for you and the action that I would ask for of you all today is what are you willing to book this week? And I would get a pop, at least a pop up on the calendar. I would get an in-home party on the calendar and I would be focusing on doing a power hour at least twice a day. You need two a day. And I would be focusing on at least 20 plus host to post a day. 
there is no reason why you can't get that out there because people are more than willing to be a part of some giveaway that you have going on in this time of year and this season because they're hungry for money. They want that Starbucks gift card or that cash giveaway that you're doing with your team. They want all of those things. And so take advantage of the season right now by getting people involved and host a post. Um, okay, so let me read you what I just sent to this one boutique before I have 15 seconds. I'm gonna stop the timer so that I can just tell you this one thing. Hey beauties, these are friends of mine from my hometown. Guess what? I'm coming to town this week to host an event for, Thursday, uh, for work Thursday night and I wanna see if y'all wanna collab on a pop-up Friday. I'd come in, set up a beautiful wellness pop-up for our products and promote, and of course, promote the boutique like crazy on social. Promotion would be leading up to the event during and after. What are your thoughts? That was as simple as that. I have another friend who owns a salon, sent her a message and said, hey girl, I'm coming in town for an It Works event. I would love to come in your salon and set up a pop-up, a, a wellness pop-up, and um, would Friday work for you? And so she got back to me and she said, you know what? I sold the salon. I had no idea. I sold the salon to a friend of mine. Let me get back to you ASAP. Would tomorrow work for you to get back with you? I said, absolutely. So I, my question to you is how many messages are you willing to send out to book at least that one pop-up? And so I, I think that if you want to bring in quick volume, here's a good example. Laura Balzer is a triple diamond on our team. She just flew out to Houston and she just did uh, a pop, two pop-ups in one day and an in-home party that night. And then she flew out the next day and they brought in over $800 in volume. They welcomed two distributors to the team, but they brought in $800 in volume just from that work. And that work is residual. That work is going to go beyond that $800 in volumes. But here's the thing. That $800 in volume is two qualified legs for your promotion. That's two qualified legs. And so you've got to look at it like that. Where do you need the volume? Look at these legs. Okay, I have a ruby that needs to fill this emerald. Who in that leg can I strategize with to book a pop-up this week? to run more host to post this week. And then you are working day in and day out with that person in those chats. Like everyone's giving these great tips, so I'm gonna stop there. But these are some of the strategies that I work through in order to fill up these charts with volume. So next I'm gonna go to um, Allie. Friends, I'm gonna try to be quick. I'm losing my voice, which is really fun. I've had sick children all week, so I'm hoping that this is all I get of it. Um, my name is Ali Antonacci. I'm an ambassador. I've been in the business six and a half years. Um, I was super, super excited to get to collaborate with these ladies tonight because I love promotion month. I love them so much. Um, they're so fun. I'm super competitive and red, and I like love that fire of like pushing towards a united goal. Um, like a lot of the other ladies said, you simply have to decide. You can't say like Ashley said, I'm going to try to go diamond or I'm shooting for it. No, like if, if you have any hesitation, you're not going to hit it because you're going to be thinking about, well, what if I don't? And the second your brain is there thinking about how you're not going to do it or you're going to miss it, I promise you will every single time. If you sit there and all you think about is a $500 paycheck, I promise you, you're going to get a $500 paycheck. Um, you've got to be thinking big numbers, abundant people joining your team, but you have to decide from day one, like this is my promotion month. You need to have your chart done that day, every single day. Um, <clears throat> you need to be, and, and this time of year is such an amazing promotion time because you guys, what you do in this business in the next six weeks can 100% define what your 2020 looks like. I mean, the momentum that you can create by promoting during this season. First off, this is such an amazing time to be able to talk to people about, okay, people don't, they're going to be stressed out during the holidays. They you don't want to gain weight during the holidays. They want to get a jump start on their goals. Um, kind of, I always tell people our boom season is, you know, that January time. So new DTs come in now, get your feet wet for six weeks. So you are like, you know, ready to go Ruby and Diamond come January. These are things that conversations you can be having. There's no excuse not to be able to be signing big volume, big customers. You guys, 
retail goes up. People spend money. If you are telling yourself that this time of year, people don't spend money on yourself, you're lying to yourself. That is an excuse you're giving yourself because people spend money like crazy this time of year and people are looking to make more of it. Um, absolutely be loud with your team. Give them a purpose. Every single person on your chart needs to know, you know, are they going to be a Ruby? Are they going to be an Emerald? Are they going to be the best darn 400 box in the world? Like, are they going to be a 600 box? Like they need to realize that this is a united effort. Um, the analogy I always love is in the movie, Finding Nemo. They're all swimming all different ways at the end, right? And they're all getting caught by that big net. And then the second he starts screaming, swim down, swim down. And everybody like looks around and they're like, oh, we all need to work together. They break through that net. You guys, from day one, you need to all be swimming down together. Do you know how proud of you your team is going to be when you hit this and that they are part of it? If you say, Yo, girl, I have you in a position to be a thousand BV this month. And that's going to push us to a diamond team, which the second I go diamond, I know I can teach people how to go diamond. Are you with me? Are you in this? Are you comfortable with that position? You need to say, are you going to be my Ruby? Are you going to be my Emerald? And people want to go together, stay on top of the clients all month. Absolutely. Um, prepare your family. Like Amanda said, um, you need to have that money mindset and abundant mindset every single day. Absolutely. Getting up one hour early. You need to be journaling. Um, I always journaled in a way of speaking what's happening currently. And then after green carpet, um, having a great conversation with Kay, adding in some gratitude around that too. Um, and you guys like my, I brought this out, like things in my journal is like, I am so grateful the people joining my team are inspired to be successful on their own. They are bold. They are quickly getting four and 500 BV and their own free products. They promote to Ruby on their own. They do and teach their steps two and three times a month. People are chasing after me to join my business. Customers are falling from the sky. These are the things I write. You guys, I write them and then alone in my office at 5.30 in the morning, I read them out loud to myself. The more ways you can get your brain seeing things, and don't type these. You have to physically write them with a pen. It's a very, very different mechanism in our head. Um, but you have to make that decision um, with your and be grateful. Um, ask people to help. Um, and that doesn't just mean like your family and like helping you have more time. You guys, um, two months ago, I was re-ranking my 2.0 account and I, in the last week of the month, I said, oh my gosh, I am going for this huge goal. And I know that there are 4,000 of you on my Facebook. And if 12 of you have been thinking about this and want to place orders, um, we can get this done. This would be huge for my family. This is something our team's been working on for so long. Every time I got a customer, you guys, at 11 p.m. on the last day of the month, so first of all, the last day of the month, I brought in 600 BV myself, which I am not like a mass enroller. That is like a lot for me. Um, there was a woman at 11 PM. I had already hit my promotion and she messaged me and she's like, oh my gosh, I've been meaning to message you. Did you hit your goal? She then immediately, before I even respond, texts me a picture of her credit card and says, just, can you order me like everything I need to lose weight? And I was like, well, this and this and this and this and this. She's like, yeah, she was a $300 order. She gave me her credit card before even, um, before even like knowing, because all she wanted to do was help me. You guys, she didn't even care. She wanted to be part of success. People want to be part of something that is exciting and successful. Be so loud. Every, if you are promoting, when you are promoting the diamond this month, every single day you should be saying, I can't believe on the 31st of this month, I'm, I will be a leadership position. My team is doing this. I will have three rubies. I will have an emerald. I am, I am, I am, I am all over and over again. And you got to be so loud on social about it. Um, so a couple amazing th little tidbits I have on the conference that I was at with is, um, being smart with your personal development time. Um, just because it's a promotion month does not mean that you do not need to be pouring into yourself. You really need to be pouring into yourself more than normal, but be smart about it. You know, time is an asset, right? And it's our most valuable asset. So if you do not have a Bluetooth speaker in your shower, you need one. They're $16 on Amazon. They're amazing. You guys, I, I get through multiple books a month because 
I don't listen to the radio in my car. Um, I listen to books. I listen in the shower while I'm getting ready. Time that I can't be working, but my mind has space and I'm alone. Like, that's amazing. I get through so many books and podcasts that way. Um, do not neglect your body. Drink your water. Yes, you will go a little short on sleep. Yes, you may not shower as often. Your legs may be pretty hairy. That's fine. But like, go take an hour walk to like in the sunshine to get some vitamin D, D move your body and listen to a podcast while you do it. Or I'll schedule if I need to have a coaching call with a team member, do it in the car. So that when I'm at home and I have time in my office, I can be so, so focused on messaging. Because you guys, the question is, are you spending your time or are you investing your time? You only have so many hours this month to get this done. And what are you, are what you consume? Are you scrolling? You, there should be no scrolling. You should not know what's going on in the news. You should be focused. You should have your lists and you're working your lists, right? You're building your network. You are messaging new. You are building your list. Um, and then another thing I've done on promotion month, and this really, really helped. It depends on the age of your kids. But my daughter got, I mean, I promoted to ambassador at 20 weeks pregnant um, with a four-year-old. And that was in March. I've done double diamond twice in November, once for me and once for my husband. Um, and I will be double diamond in December for my 2.0. I will be doing that next month. Um, but teaching my kids what a power hour is. Okay, mommy needs a power hour. Are you guys ready? And they're like, yeah, we're ready. And they know at the end of the power hour that we're all going to like play a game together. Or we're all going to jump on the trampoline or we're all going to whatever. And then they are set up with blocks, puzzles, coloring, whatever is age appropriate for them. But they know, and you can break it up into three 20 minute sections, whatever you need to do. But my kids know that when mommy needs a power hour, they do it too. Timer. Perfect. So that, that's been amazing because if you're intentional with that hour, I mean, and then your kids get rewarded and then they feel like they're part of your success. And then we always do, if it's a promotion month, we have a family celebration after we hit our goal. Special dinner out, uh, pizza picnic in the living room, whatever. So good. So good. We're <laughs> being mindful of time because of the family call, more importantly. Um, Allie, thank you so much. Kelly Brown, you're up, sister. I unmute. Okay, yay. Hi, you guys. Hi, hi. Okay, so really quick. Okay, I made a little list. You would be so proud of me. Okay, so there are two yeses that you make in the process of your business. Number one yes is when you signed up for $99 or $49 or whatever your cost was, okay? The second yes is to getting the job done. And at every promotion, you're going to feel a growth point for each rank, okay? And Diamond is going to feel just like Emerald felt. And Diamond's going to feel like Ruby felt. At each point, you're going to feel a growing, a stretching going, okay, how can I, can I do the next one? Okay, can I do the next one? Guess what double diamond feels like? Okay, can I do the next one? It's the same, okay? But that second yes is the most important one. You're saying yes to you and yes to everything that it takes to get the job done. And you can and you will, okay? So how do you do that? At least according to my list is by beginning with the end in mind. So you've got to have your projected volume like we've been talking about tonight. You've got to know exactly where are you and what do you need at the end, okay? And then the way that we do is we count backwards, okay, as a team and then in groups. So um, for me, the way I would do it is I have my diamond 2.0 and I have all my projected volume and I'm counting down and I know what each box needs, right? I have my total GB and now I know my, where I am at and where I'm ending and the space in between exactly what that is. And then each Ruby leg, right? Everyone knows this. Each Ruby leg has their chart. They also have to know exactly what they need. The more you empower your legs to be their own CEOs and know exactly what they need in every single spot, the less mistakes happen and the more that you get done and accomplish. Okay. So we count down from, you know, 8,000 total GV and we're going, okay, every single box. Now are we, now, where are we now? Where are we? We're getting up to 5,000 celebrate the 5,000. Okay. So now, you know, for sure you're ending at Emerald. Now we're working on that diamond space, Emerald to diamond. Okay. When you hit, you know, we're going up by, 
uh, you know, 500 BV in the next couple of days, whatever. And now you only, you know, you're at 5,500. Now you're at 6,000. Now you're at like constantly updating your teammates, updating your legs, telling them, okay, here's where you're at now. Here's where you're at now. And we're looking at that space of where you're ending and where you're at. And what I will do is break it down by box and go, okay, Ruby leader, here's exactly what we need right here. We need three coffees to finish this box. Here's an awesome post for coffee. This is what's been working for me. And here's exactly what I said. And then they're going to go, okay, I'm, my goal is going to be three coffees in this spot. Okay. And then your next goal over here is going to be uh, one distributor and maybe three for uh, Thermophytex and the cleanse. Okay, because that's gonna equal this much and it's going to total this much and that's gonna be your end result. So always having the end in mind for the overall goal, but then also for every single box. Does that make sense? And knowing how you can break it down. These many LCs at this much BV totals this and finishes the box and then we cross it off. Now we go to the next one. Okay, now for enrollment, yeah, I love the pop-ups. I think they're super cute. In fact, we've got a bunch of teammates on here that jumped up, ran out, and started doing them. Um, so I'm at home building business with tiny babies, and I do a lot of social media personally. So for me, um, when I'm working through social media, one of the number thing, one things on my list for promotion month is going to be growing my network because fresh fish jump first. So you've got a whole pool of people that have been watching you. They might be repeat people on your host to post, they're repeat people showing up, commenting on stuff. The fresh fish are the ones that sign up the fastest. They're the ones that big the bring the greatest return on host to post going up. So I would also say that Yes, enrollment is major. One of the key components in enrollment is going to be growing your network at a major massive rate. So if you're sitting at 5,000 friends on Facebook, girlfriend, get rid of 1,000. And yes, it's going to take two hours and no, it won't be fun. But it's totally worth removing 1,000 and growing a new 1,000. You're going you're gonna to feed on that 1,000 people for the next like three months. You, you, it'll go past diamond and take you on, you know, to double diamond with that new thousand people. So definitely worth stopping, taking the time, removing and adding to that network. And then like Amanda said, getting up those host to posts consistently. You've got to have charts and know exactly what you're doing. Some of what we deal with is that you have to do the annoying tasks that you don't want to do, but when you're willing to do them, they turn into money. Okay. And the other thing that I would say that's major for me personally would be um, staying consistently close with all the key players on my chart. If there's a body in a box, I'm not reviving the dead, okay? So if they're not doing nothing, sissy, that's okay. I might reach out and go, hey, girlfriend, how do you feel about trying? And I might give them something that I know is just gonna slam them. Like some really good <laughs> host to post giveaway post or something that I just know if there is not a dead person following their Facebook, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's gonna get somebody to respond. So. Um, I might try and see, but if not, that's okay. That's going to go on my list of boxes that I'm responsible for. Okay. Overall, you're responsible for your promotion, but you also want to empower your people to feel like they own it as well, right? The more you can empower them with exactly what they need and counting down with them. Oh my gosh, you just got rid of one box. Okay. Now all we need is two more. Here's what we're going to work on. This is the next box to focus on. Here's what we're going to do. Every now and then if I'm signing something, I'm going to go over and encourage and I'm going to place with them in the box. Now, do I have other places that I are on me to take care of? Sure. But I also want them to feel like I'm in the boat with them. So I'm going to go place with them too, you know, but together we're counting down every day. Here's, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. You're doing it. You're making it happen. You're getting there. You know what I mean? And I'm talking to them. I'm watching their social media. I know if they're encouraged or discouraged. I know if something's going on in their home, if their kids are sick, does that make sense? Like we stay connected and we're talking every single day. If it's a promotion month, it's probably not going to be two days going by that we're not talking consistently. Otherwise, you'll turn around and they'll be discouraged and gone. And then now you're stuck and now you've lost a leader. But if you stay connected with them and you're consistently talking, okay, here's what I tried and this totally worked. Hey, have you tried this yet? Oh my gosh, did you see so-and-so post this and it totally worked? You should try. I'm going to try it too. Hey, how's it going with this box here? Okay, if I get an LC, does that make sense? 
we're working together and then they're feeding off of my excitement and my energy. Be talking to your teammates. Excitement creates duplication. If you're not excited, sissy, we got to turn the fire on. Got to do something to stoke that fire on the inside. That's where your self-development comes into play. But excitement is what creates duplication. If you're excited, your people will inevitably become excited unless, you know, they might be a bump on a log. But hey, <laughs> then we don't worry about them. But the ones that are there that are actively trying, they should feed off of your energy. And together, you're feeding each other and you're running. And guess what? You're working hard, but the hard work is fun. And when it's fun and exciting, it duplicates quick. Any last one nuggets you had, Kelly, on your list? Are you done? Mm -mm, done. Okay. Um, Amanda, can you quickly just run through your volume countdown that you guys did for Ambassador? Because I think that in this whole strategy session as we're closing this out is so important. And then this just kind of piggybacks on what Kelly and all of us were really saying is that communication is so essential in this promotion time. And so this was a big deal for you guys to go on Ambassador. Yes, absolutely. So whatever volume you like need for these last how many days we have 12 days or so, um, whatever volume you need, you need to know, just like everyone has said on here, you have to know. And so what I would do is what we did for our ambassador team is we made like a little, um, like a thermometer. My husband made it, it was a thermometer and we put, yes, just like that. So thanks Kelly. We put, um, we made a thermometer and we put, okay, we need, we, at the time we needed uh, 46,000 volume, you guys. So you put what volume you need. So say you need 3,000 volume, okay? You need 3,000 volume to get to diamond. Put that, you know, at the top, or I think, I can't remember. Show me your, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so that's your goal is you need that, that total volume, okay? And so say you need 3,000 volume. All you do is divide that between like the 12 days. So if you need 3000 volume, that's 250 BV every single day. So what you do is you gather your team together and you say, okay, you guys, this is our goal. We need 3000 volume to get to diamond. Like be so excited. You guys let them feel your energy, your passion, all that kind of stuff. Go live, make a video, whatever you need to do. Um, but you know, that is your goal and say, okay, breaking it down. You guys, we need 250 BB every single day. That is all of us together. That is, you know, two triple threats and, you know, two keto coffees or, you know, whatever it is, like break it down for them so that they know, just like what Kelly said, what is that, that product? Um, and then every single day you guys, okay, awesome guys. We just got a hundred BB. We need 150 more to go. And then every single day you guys color that in. Okay. You got that 250 BB. Awesome. Next day, you need 250 BB, awesome, color that in. And so every single day, every time somebody's bringing in a volume, awesome, like we just got 30 BB more, like, you know, and, and then track it with that, you know, thermometer, it doesn't have to be fancy. Like we did the same thing just on a board, um, my husband drew it and, you know, we just in, had the team all included. So every time we would update that thermometer, um, the team was on there. I'd say, okay guys, what color do you wanna do? And they would pick the color and then we would color it in together. And, you know, some of the days we were short and so I say, okay, guys, that's okay. Here's some ideas on what we can do. Let's all tonight before we go send out this message. Let's all tonight before we go to bed message 10 new or current customers that we already have. Um, so just really work together with your team, um, really celebrate all the wins, you know, for each of the days and each of the volumes. But the biggest thing I think is everyone just coming together, being one unit, just so excited, just the energy, you know, flowing everybody on your team who is working and who is going for those goals, their paycheck is going to increase because your page is paycheck is going to increase. So every single person wants you to get to diamond. Every single person is cheering you on. And so when we went ambassador, it wasn't me going ambassador. Like our team was going ambassador. Like we were all crying. Like, you know, it was just a whole like unit working together. And so counting that day. And so that's where it's really going to come into, you know, play where you guys are really working really close with those key players, even those 400 boxes, even those newbies, newbies coming in, you guys were so excited. And I will tell you because they see the traction that you guys are bringing in, it makes them dream higher. It makes them want to work harder. It makes them want to just push further for that end goal that you guys all have. Incredible. I was just writing it. It shows so much possibility, right? When you focus on, you know, I love the 
the focus daily volume. I think it just means so much to everybody and then just working together. So we just want you guys to know, we absolutely know and believe in why you're here and what your dreams are and what your goals are. And we know that um, without a shadow of a doubt, you have more than enough time. I remember being down at the very last two days of the month of my ambassador promotion and just like the table was full of charts. We were all, I was, I was, hadn't showered my, I didn't even care what I smelled like. Like it was just all, it was the energy was just so flowing between everybody and we got it done. And it was just all in the decision. And so we believe in your decision. We believe in your energy. We believe in who you are. We believe in why you're here. And I just want you all to know that you are enough and you deserve it. And just keep reminding yourself that I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. And just keep building that belief in who you are and why you're here. So thank you guys so much. We're going to close this out and we're going to go join Mark and the It Works family on the family call. So thanks so much. And Amanda, I'll give it back to you to stop the recording. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye, guys.